Woo. I'm taking a string down. I'm taking the string down today. I uh, drove in all the metal T-posts. All the metal T-posts that I was going to put in. Plus the wooden ones are concreted in. Like here. Trying to get it done. It's been a lot of work. Not to mention a big knot on the top of my head. Yeah, we all do dumb things, right? Don't we all do dumb things or is it just me? But I had the post hole digger or the post hole tool for sliding and slamming the post hole, the metal post holes into the ground. The tampener, tamper, tampener. And this friggin' thing came off, caught one of these, one of those little grooves, one of those little teeth in the front. And cocked me and came flying back this way and cracked me in the skull. I got a big old knot on my head, but I knocked me out. Look. So if you see it started at the house up there, come all the way back down through here. So I'm taking down the lawn. We tried to save some money on fence posts. The metal ones were more than half the price more than half the price is that how you say it more than half the price probably get three of those for the price of one wooden one put the big heavy duty ones on the gates up there i put a heavy duty one in the corner right there and to save some money we used the metal ones but i got some like i said the wooden ones are concrete and it comes all the way down to here it's going to go down through the woods right here. Did find out this is just a big pile of dirt. I think I'm gonna be able to utilize this with a tractor as I go for uh, backfilling and leveling. But as you see, it comes down. The heights vary. I'm not sure what the height's gonna be at 100%, but they're in there pretty good. They're in there pretty good. <clears throat> then like I said, I'm cutting down that tree that tree that junk over there I'm leaving those two cedars this is not the straightest lawn in the world but dagnabbit that's the worst lawn I got that's where I started from don't laugh I'm almost 59 years old and I hear post hole digging and I don't even care you get one of some three point hitch post hole diggers and you'll still work yourself to death believe me just putting it together and getting it off the tractor is some of the hardest work okay so that's the end post it's going to go from there i'm going to be attaching a four by four to the building we're just going to run straight to the building put another four by four on this corner i'll get back let's see and it's going to go to that post it's a gate Another post and it's gonna run to the house. And that's gonna be it. That way the dog kennel here. Just open the door and let them run free. Let them run free. These fools. Your eye. Romeo's the black one. Jasmine's a real pretty girl right there. Hi Jazz. Hi Jazz. They're only here temporary. And it's Ozzy. And it's Zena. Zena's pregnant. And my pigeons, hey guys, yay! Got to get around to feeding them today. Hmm. I don't know how many days it is since. But look, I got a sabiki rig for the fishing. So I'm hopefully I'm going to get out there sometime today and try to catch me some bait. Maybe get on a striper. So we'll look forward to that maybe. Um, if that happens, you'll see it in an upcoming video. Look, guys. I've been killing myself trying to do all this stuff. Get this place straight for her. I built that crooked little gate up there. It's for the dogs so they'll stay on the big back deck we have so you can just hang out i'm not done with 100 percent. It's, it's pretty nice really i always say junk but i don't build junk huh. that's what we got going on here thanks for watching everybody thanks for keeping up with the mess that i call the new house out here in virginia in the middle of nowhere y'all have a nice day